Bucks at number 10. We're going to get right to it. Um, ex kind of teammate of mine, ex guy I, I've worked with a lot, Tay Oscar Hernandez of the Brooklyn Dodgers, um, the World Wait, Series champion. Brooklyn, have you got to throw it out there? You're Brooklyn. So, Brooklyn Dodger, um, World Series champion. He was Blue Jay, Dodger now. A uh, huge piece of this Dodgers team. Um, he was an MVP candidate throughout most of all the season, especially while their real MVPs were getting hurt and out for games and uh, deciding to try to rehab for Tommy John. I mean, all this stuff. He just constantly just carried this team. Not only did he carry this team, everybody loves him. He obviously, if you saw his, uh, you know, his little press conference that he had at the parade, he loves the Dodgers. He wants to be a Dodger. And I'm putting him at $100 million over the next four years. He is 32 years old, so I can't give yes. him any longer than that. Our number nine is a Cy Young winner from the Ohio's uh, Guardians, Shane Bieber. Um, this dude is it was an absolute stud a couple of years ago. Um, great pitcher, great stuff. Twenty nine years old, going to be turning uh, uh, thirty here, you know, in the next season. Um, absolute great pitcher, great stuff. Spent most all of this entire season hurt. Came back, pitched a couple of games, um, but this dude is a stud. Yeah, he's an absolute stud. I know his velocity was down a little bit, uh, but hopefully. You know, post-surgery, he's going to be, you know, back. His velocity could tick up a little bit. Uh, because of the health issues, I have him signing a two-year deal with the section. His second year being a player option. I would give him, if I was a GM, I would give him two years, 38 million, 18 for the first, and then 20 for the player option in the second. All right. Number eight might be the most underrated baseball player in all of Major League Baseball, in all the world. This dude is an absolute stud. Anthony Santander with all the star power and all the young studs. This dude just kept crushing the ball. He has had a couple of years that are just insane numbers. I give I, I respect this guy so much for what he's done under the radar and like in an American League East in right field, which is just pure power dudes. This was the best one of them. Like, Soto's great. Soto's awesome, but Soto brings so much to the table. Pure power, what he's 44 home runs in Baltimore is no joke anymore. Uh, I have him going at 130 million over six years. He is 30 years old. Uh, that's just what I mean. And you said it, he's an under the radar guy. So if you're a team like, let's say Seattle, and you go out and get Santander, that's not going to make too many Mariners fans you know, proud. It, they will understand that he's a good ball player, but he is not that big marquee name, despite what he has done, you know, on the field. I do think there's a lot of value there, and he's underrated. Where the next go dude on this list, I don't know if he's ever been underrated. He has been a World Series champion over and over. Like this, this dude is as as frustrating as it gets. He has gotten it done. God damn. And I'm gonna give him like the lowest. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Mo hum this because he's, he's he was on that Astros team. Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman at number seven. And and he's with that group of cheaters. At the end and of the day, though, he is a free agent. And he's a It's so good funny that player. you mentioned the cheating because that's the reason I'm giving him such a low valuation. I think a lot of people around baseball are worried about how inflated his numbers were while they were cheating. You could see last year he started off very, very slow. He ended up getting better. Um I'm giving yeah, him a bad timing for for go walking into your free agency year, right? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to give him 190 million over eight years, and I think he's going to stay with Houston. I don't think that anybody is going to open up the bank to get him. I think it would be a good story if he finished up with Houston. But in order for him to do that, I see this as the, the Astros are going to get him back. They're going to Altuve is going to make a phone call, whatever it is. He's going to want his boy in that middle of that lineup. And he's going to end up staying in Astro. Um, our next dude, um, number six on the list, is a Atlanta uh, Braves pitcher, Max Freed. Yeah, Max Freed, uh, great pitcher. 
Uh, I have him going to either the Mets, the Braves, the Orioles, the Red Sox, all the usual suspects, everybody who needs pitching and has plenty of money. I've got him going $185 million over seven years. Uh, I just don't know where. If I had to guess, I'd say he'd probably stay with the Braves, but I have no idea on Max Fried. Your thoughts? Um, my problem with Max Fried, he's a, he's a, he's a stud. He's had, a, he had some incredible years. It's just where do people trust the full on health. I, I know he made 29 starts this year, but like, are they 100% confident in him? Right. And that's, that's only going to be for, for some of my, my stuff here. But, but again, like he's an absolute stud. I see him going back to the Braves. I see that it was being a good relationship unless there's something there behind closed doors that we don't know about. I think it makes a lot of sense. I, I, I mean, he's been a brave, like, let him stay a break. Number five, super, super under the radar. This is a solid, very, very solid player. Stud. I love this guy. I, dude, love him because he is just a baller. Willie Adams of the Milwaukee Brewers. All the Brewers know how to do is win. win. Or Willie Adamas, if you want to be. I know you were being facetious, but it's Willie Adamas for all of you watching. Don't give Ards any hate tweets. He knows exactly who it is. People don't know when you're joking. You're not very good at that. Anyway, Willie Adamas, uh, 29 years old. He is, yes. and there, it, there's something that I missed on that little file. If you're watching here on YouTube, you can see we made this pretty little file with the teams that I think he might go to. But I missed the biggest one, and I think this is where he's going to end up going if he doesn't re-sign with the Brewers. The Dodgers. They need him at shortstop. I think he is the perfect fit. He will go, he, he's just perfect. And I'm going to give him 150 over six years. I think it's smart. I, I actually agree with you. It's really interesting you said the Dodgers because that was my first one that I was thinking of. It, it, it's absolutely perfect um, spot for him. I, I think it makes a whole lot of sense. All right, number four, Cy Young winner, five and dive extraordinaire, Blake Snell. You later. I'm out after I threw five innings and 25 strikeouts. I don't want to pitch the sixth. Yeah, and I think that's the big problem with him. He's, you know, he's 31, almost 32 years old. He's that guy that will only give you five innings. I personally don't think that he is worth giving a major contract to. I think he's that guy that you just say, hey, here's a three-year deal. Here's a hundred million bucks. Thank you. Do your thing. But I'm not going seven years. Number three. Um guy i would put way more money on and trust in and everything corbin burns of the baltimore orioles formerly of the milwaukee brewers cy young winner in the past absolute freaking stud zola this dude i want on my team i want his ball he wants the baseball and I, yeah. I, I, he wants the baseball and I, he wants to toe that rubber and, and the 32 starts this year great era for me i had him as my my son cy young winner at one point about halfway through the year i said he is going to win the cy young because he's going to be pitching in meaningful baseball games in september and and doing it turk scoobal i didn't think was and then turk scoobal decided to say hey i'll start like literally every game for the tigers yeah. and and go win a cy young and uh literally pitch to october uh so turk scoobal congratulations you're going to win it corbin burns though is an absolute stud i want him on my team i i don't i i it doesn't man i want him like that's it like he should be just everybody should be going after him the orioles are young the orioles don't have much in the terms of starting pitchers after him he makes perfect sense to return to the orioles i don't think there's any way that the orioles screw this up and don't re-sign him 225 million over seven years just over 30 but i'm giving him length uh pete alonzo uh the polar bear uh, the New York Met first baseman, well, formerly New York Met first baseman. If he goes, I'm sorry, but this organization is falling apart unless they sign a whole bunch of guys. Uh, I, I it, it just, it, I can't even picture him in another uniform yet. Like, it, out of everybody on this entire list, like, he's the one that I can't even see in another uniform yet. And I picture everybody else. I'm like, yeah, I could see him in that. I could see him in this. I, could see I do not see him in any other uniform. Um, I have ideas of where he's going to go, but I want to hear your thoughts. So um, 
Whether the Mets sign Juan Soto or not, they have to bring back Pete Alonso because you are not going to find another player who's going to put up 35 home runs, 100 RBIs, play in New York under the scrutiny that he did during a walk year and still was a stud enough in the playoffs to do what he did against the Brewers and then played pretty damn good against the Dodgers. Uh, I think he belongs with the Mets. He is going to retire a Met. He is going to break all their records because right now it's all Daryl Strawberry and, and David Wright, and neither one of them finished their careers as a Met, which is crazy. Um, I'm going to give him $175 million over six years. He is just shy of 30. He's going to be 30 in, in a month. I think it's a very fair deal. This brings us to our number one free agent, uh, uh, oh, Shohei Otani. Oh, and I've been thinking about this contract for a long, long time. Oh, Juan Soto. Um, I mean, what do I say about Juan Soto? Like, I, I, it's the weirdest thing. It's what he did with the Nationals, what he did with the Yankees. Um, like, his bad years were still pretty good years when he was with San Diego, right? Like, stud, um, this is everything you grow up to be as a 26-year-old free agent. Yep. And, uh World Series champion, uh, just all around incredible baseball player. Yeah. So and, and, and difference maker, different, and that's the thing. You're just not a good baseball player. You're you're a difference maker. Uh, yeah. The question is, what is this contract going to look like? Here's my question: Before we get into the contract, what age do you believe a player starts to go on their downswing? Ooh, I don't. I think when you get to 34. Okay, so I think it's actually... No, really I, sorry, I would say 33 is the downswing. 34, 35, like you're okay. pushing it. I mean, you can get to the, some of those starting pitchers that can go in the later. Like, we've seen that. That's no problem. But I think nowadays with how pitching is used, you're not going to see that much anymore. Okay. So I look at Juan Soto and I say, you know what? I want him. I want him on my team really bad, but it's going to cost me a lot of money. So I am going to take a book out of, I'm going to take a page out of Steve Cohen's book and what he did with Verlander and what he did with Scherzer. And I am going trade to, him to the, trade him and then eat their contract. Will you shut up? <laughs> I'm trying to make a point here and you're trying to be a smart ass. That's my job. Um, I'm going to give Juan Soto $650 million over 13 years. 